Hello guys and welcome to Careless Coders. In this video, we are going to make our theme or color of our app dynamic. And we are going to be changing it into whatever color we want. So, in pre this is a story app and uh, we made two videos on it. One was about making our font size dynamic and the other one was about introducing dark mode so both of these links will be in the description if you want to check them out otherwise let's just get started with this so first let's just add uh, our theme page in our drawer so we will click it and it will show change theme let's add it And now let's find out an icon to represent our theme. So for this, what I did is I embodied a package Flutter icons. You can download it from pub.dev. It has all these icons and you don't have to download each one. You get basically you get all these libraries. So what we'll be using is this ntyper.colors Let's change it to change theme Now we will make another page and this is going to be a stateful widget in this page we are going to have some buttons that will that when we will click on it our theme will be changed based on the user preference okay so this is our class change theme let's add a scaffold Let's quickly give it an app bar. And our background color is going to be seen as primary color. Now, to change this theme easily, what you need is to have your color not hard coded, but you need to have it in, saved in a variable. So make sure you have that. So then inside the container we will add a column and then inside that column we will have a few raised buttons We are on our page change theme. Let's give it center title true, and then let's just add those raised buttons. And this is obviously not a very premium looking design for the user to change theme, but. You can do it any way you want. This is just for the tutorial purpose. So let's just quickly make these raised buttons and we are going to give it the same color that is written on it. So now in its on pressed, whenever we press it, our primary color will be changed into the color that is written on it. So inside red, our primary color would become red. Then we would obviously need to call set state. Now, with this 
if you ha- if you do it only like this it will be it will change the color but it will not be saved the next time the user logs in the color would be different so as you can see it changes and looks great for the user to have this power to change the theme according to their preference as we as we can as we know a lot of apps are doing this so it's great to have a feature like this in your app if you are uploading it on play store so it works fine but one problem is still with it is that once you remove the app from memory it will be the same the color that you gave it primary color so for that to be saved we will have to use shared preferences we will save our primary color inside shared preferences and i will show you how we can do it simply it's it's not going to require much coding don't don't get afraid of this pub.dev it's actually pretty simple so let's see how we can save it first obviously you need to import and since i have already imported i don't need to be worried about that just import it and what we are going to be doing first is we are going to make a function that will get our color future get color and since it's shared preferences is going to use await we need to and it's a future function we need to use future and we are going to give it a sync also so future color get color and since we need our color color type then we are going to make our shared preferences see let's see how we make it first we need to define our variable shared preferences globally since we need to access it in different pages then we call preferences equal to await dot await shared preferences dot get instance so this will basically give us the instance to our shared preferences class and then we can get our primary color so primary color equals to preferences dot cat and we can see a lot of functions here what we need is our since we are taking it a color so it's dynamic we're going to be using only get and we're going to give it key color and then we need to let's just give it print statement so that we know that we have only taken the color so color taken from saved instance now we need to call set state so that it actually changes now we are going to call our this get color function inside our init state we are doing this in our home class so whatever your apps home classes you need to call there it's better if it is while the app is loading loading so now that we have taken our color what we need to do is we have to set our color after we tap our buttons so when we tap our button it needs to take that color and save it in shared preferences so the next next time you initialize your app it takes that color which is saved previously so we'll make a function future set color and we'll give you a color as a parameter set and okay so it doesn't take that 
it's not dynamic you have to give it these intent or uh, double or a type or a type so so what we will do is we will store we will take all the colors we will store all these colors in a integer and we will set that integer so like this you can see i made this function color get color and we provide it an index and our add index one it will use red add two it will use blue so like this i made all these colors and we mean we give it a default so after we okay after you make this function then what we do in our set color class set cover set color function we don't need to have this now we will do int index so when we tap our button we will get that index and we will set our int to that index so this is then now we also need to change our get color what we will do here is that we will get int so we will get our index and when we get that index when it returns the index we are going to use it in our we are going to provide it in our get cut color function that we just made and with that we are going to get that color. okay so we declared it two times let's change its name in our constant let's make it get color index Okay, I guess this should work now. Let's try run, running it. Oh, so we still need to provide in our raise button. Forget that. We need to call our set color function and we will provide it the index. So we we will so at our red we will call set color one and our blue we will call our set color two now this is obviously according to the function that we made which we made according to our series our sequence so after we have done that let's try running it So initially it will show us our default that is written from the switch statement as you can see here and after we go and change our theme we change it to red after that let's just Close our app. Let's com completely close it, and then reopen it, and let's see if it's still the same color. So as you can see, it's still the same color, and it's taking that color from our shape preferences. So that is how you can easily change it. In the last video, we did this dark mode and font size. So make sure to check that out if you liked it. That's it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. By the way guys, this app is going to be live on Play Store. So if you want to check it out, now maybe maybe you want you have some kids in your family, not necessarily yours. So show them maybe. So I'm going so this is going to be live on Play Store in a few days and i will upload the link
in the description so make sure to check it out if you want to anyways thanks for supporting us